Okay, so today we're going to do something a little different as far as uh, my channel normally goes. We're talking about freshwater tropical fish tanks. Now, this is my fish tank. It's brand spanking new. Doesn't look too good because the water's a little hazy. But the first thing that I do when I'm setting up a fish tank and I want to put fish in it right away is there's some things to do to prepare it and you want to make sure that your fish are going to survive. You don't want a bunch of ammonia to build up and kill them off. So there's something on the market that allows you to introduce bacteria to your fish tank and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So first of all, other than a freshwater fish tank that's been ornamented, uh, the way I like it, I also have a thermometer because you have to know what the temperature is. Now this is reading 73.9, but I ultimately raised it to 76. And this is a submersible heater by Aquion. It's a Pro 200, which means that's 200 watts, which is perfectly fine for a 54 gallon tank. And also it's got the red light going right now. When it turns to green, there you have it. It's uh, holding temperature. So you wanna make sure that your submersible heater or whatever heater you use is going to keep a stable temperature before you move on to anything else. Look how kind of cloudy the water is. I put all my ornaments in the tank, fill it to the top, I rinse everything, I rinse off the gravel, and then I give it what I call a dwell time. So I let all of this sit in there for three or four days. And uh, that way, if there are any residual chemicals on any of these um, ornaments, any of the synthetic uh, driftwood and the gravel, and this black gravel was really kind of smelly, so I want to leave it for a while, then do a water change. After I do a water change, I put in something like ChemiPure Elite. I've been using ChemiPure as a water treatment and a filter medium since 1984. Uh, when I was setting up fish tanks for a company called Seifert's Aquarium in North Park, San Diego. So I'm a big fan of ChemiPure. It's something that uh, I always put, if it's an over the side filter, you can put it in that. With this 54 gallon system, I'm going to put it in a canister filter, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now, one of the things that's going to allow me to put fish in this tank right away is this Tetra Safe Start Plus Concentrated Aquarium Bacteria. This is a bacteria that you normally would wait a long time to build up in your tank so that it can deal with fish waste and feed on fish waste, which prevents it from producing a lot of ammonia, burning your fish and killing them. So that's what this uh, video is all about, is how I'm gonna start my fish off without the normal waiting period for a tank to cycle. I also have been a big fan of canister filters as long as I've been keeping fish. And right now the Hydor Professional 250, so that's 250 gallons per hour capacity, is what I'm gonna use for this fish tank setup. This is a brand new fish tank. It's never been used before. So everything I'm doing is in preparation for fish for the first time, assuming that everything you're putting in here is brand new. Canister filters like this one allow you to build up. It houses bacteria. This is filter medium that the bacteria are going to um, develop on and they're going to live on all of the surface area of these little porous ceramic inserts and uh, the water is going to flow from your tank down through this filter system and then return to the tank. But right now, I'm rinsing this in fresh water. We don't have chlorinated water, so um, I'm on a well. So this is just cold, fresh water. If you are using a canister filter or any other kind of filter, like an over-the-side uh, tank filter, when you come to clean that out later, don't take it over and clean it in chlorinated water. You'll be killing the bacteria that have colonized all of this filter medium. So it kind of would set you back. Everything I'm showing you here today is with well water. So I didn't have to do anything to treat the water, but I treat everything that comes brand new, like it's got stuff on it I don't want, and I'm going to rinse it. Here's a coarse filter, which is just a big kind of 
loose sponge that goes in the bottom of this canister filter. So canister filters have many layers for filtering and exposing your water to bacteria that are gonna help control what's going on chemically in your fish tank. And then they just all nest together and go back inside your canister filter. And again, this is the Hydor 250. Now there's a fine filter medium that goes in the top of this uh, canister filter, and that's where I'm gonna place my ChemiPure Plus. I just want water to move over the ChemiPure that comes in its own nylon bag. You can also put ChemiPure in your over the side filter or another style of canister filter. It's just uh, needs to be in a place where water can pass through it and wash over it. Also, the canister um, housing needs to be rinsed off. Don't use dish detergent or any other um, chemical that you need to wash something. Just use fresh water and let's keep all the chemicals out of our tank. So those are actually quartz bio rings. I'm sorry, I called them ceramic earlier. And then there's a chart on the side to see what size um, canister filter you need for the size tank. We have a 54 gallon tank. So this is a 250 model, and that's perfectly sized for what we're doing. Also, you'll notice number one there is a carbon filter. I don't use activated carbon. The closest thing to that is uh, the ChemiPure itself. Here's what my fish tank looks like with a nightlight function. It has LEDs on it. So, if you're setting up a fish tank or any aquarium in sometimes a child's room, kids like to leave the bright light on day and night, that's not good for your fish. You want to have daylight in your tank, maybe eight to 10 hours, hopefully not direct sunlight from a window, but artificial daylight so that the fish have a, a predictable day and night cycle. And this just shows, you know, the filter system's running and it shows me kind of what the currents are gonna be doing later when I put in the fish. Before I filled the tank all the way to the top, remember I put everything in the tank, I filled it up and I let it set for several days. Then I did a water change and now I'm filling it back up again. And this shows how the Hydor system is uh, recirculating water and returning it to the tank. Kind of cool Mark V dive helmet here. A salute to uh, the Navy dive schools back in the day. Those Mark V helmets were still in use even in 1980 for training. So kind of cool to have this in my fish tank. And again, now you can see the water's kind of clean. The bubbles have gone away. So we're running the heater, we're running the filter system, and we're making sure that everything's gonna be copacetic when the fish come. Normally you would have to wait. You might have to put fish food in the tank or something to kick off some bacteria, get some ammonia going, so that then that can be breaking down into nitrates. But we're gonna skip that because we're gonna add this uh, Safe Start Plus and put bacteria in the tank that otherwise we would be waiting a long time to have that grow on its own and develop on its own. Now, regardless of how your water looks, we don't really know chemically what's going on with it. So you're gonna have to have a fresh water test kit you're gonna to need to know for sure what your pH is, what your ammonias are, what the nitrites are, and what the nitrates are. So to do that, you have to have a test kit. And these things are pretty inexpensive. I bought this one on Amazon, very simple to do. The glass testing tubes are there. Make sure to look at the lot numbers, the expiration date. This stuff is good until 2021. So here we are in 2017, that's gonna be perfect. Everything's fresh. If you want to look up their website to learn more about it all of these products are in this video i purchased myself so i'm not sponsored by anybody i'm not getting anything for free i'm just sharing with you how i start off with fish right away the other thing is to look up in a fish book and and understand what the requirements are chemically and habitat wise for the fish that you hope to put in these are zebra danios this is a very forgiving little fish for starters and uh, that's what I'm gonna put into this tank. Again, it's a 54 gallon fish tank. So 
in theory, you could have 54 inches of fish in it. We're just starting off and the chemistry is delicate, so we're gonna put just a handful of fish in here. So we're gonna have lots of water, lots of time to see things coming if it starts to go south chemically. Because I'm trying out the test Tetra Safe Start Plus uh, for the first time. I've never introduced bacteria in this way before. So I'm gonna test the pH just for kicks. Now I consider water chemistry stability uh, when it comes to pH and things like that to be more important than um, the actual chemical composition. Some people fuss over pH and constantly shift it to make it more acidic or to make it more pH and then they add chemicals to do that. I'm not a big fan of that. I would rather, this is a 7.6 pH. So you wanna make sure and just pick a species of fish that uh, handles that water chemistry on its own. You don't want to have to force your water to do something that um, is way out of its realm. Since I have well water, I don't wanna do anything to my water. So I'm gonna pick fish that can handle this high pH. The bottles are self-explanatory. It even says how many drops to put in that five milliliter tube. Here's the thing, this is the Tetra Safe Start and you wanna make sure and look to see that the date on the bottom, that is still good. We're in 2017, so 2018 is good. You wanna make sure this stuff didn't freeze in transit. And you also wanna make sure you didn't buy it on a hot summer day where it shows up in your UPS truck and it's 130 in there or something. Just like the directions say, you shake it well and it's to start new aquariums, which this one is. Add the entire bottle to aquariums up to 100 gallons. So this is a 54 gallon tank and we're good to go. The aquarium is then ready for fish. Consult your retailer for advice on type and number of fish appropriate for your aquarium. So there again, it's a 54 gallon tank. So I'm just gonna get a few starter fish to make sure that we're not testing the limitations of the filtration and the size of the tank. So I'm starting safe. Some people start off their fish tank just by putting uh, flakes of food in it and letting that stuff go to the bottom without fish in it. And then that decomposes and generates some ammonia and then the bacteria could feed on that. I prefer to put live fish in. And here we go, we have neon tetras and zebra danios. Perfect fish for starting out a brand new tank. Remember, you have to float the bags to make sure that the temperature is the same as the temperature in the tank. And here, you see that cloudy stuff floating around? That is the Tetra Safe Start Plus that's actually floating freely through the tank. And it's gonna settle in the filter medium, which is where most of this uh, bacteria is gonna set up and, and uh, it's going to do its job on the ammonia that the fish are gonna generate. You want the bacteria to colonize uh, all over your tank, but since there's more oxygenation happening and more water flow happening in your canister filter or your over the side filter, that's where the bacteria are gonna be critical. And you can also see already, this tank is clearing up nice. Uh, the video sequence you're looking at right now is three days after we've done the Safe Start Plus. So everything's been running and these fish are, are doing great. They're not all clustered together and they're not acting stressed. They explore the entire tank. Um, we feed them just a little bit, don't overfeed your fish. But there again, we've got a lot of water to deal with. So we can test the water and know well in advance if things start looking bad. But even three days after putting them in, I did do an ammonia test and we have an ammonia of zero, but we also have nitrates of zero and nitrates zero. So I expect uh, in another couple of weeks that we will start to see some reading on nitrites first, and then of course it would break down and become nitrates. So the big killer is ammonia and nitrites. So we wanna make sure and monitor those the most. But the fish are happy, the water is clear, um, and we have fish right away. So from buying all the ornamentation, rinsing everything, 
letting the water dwell with all of the furnishings in it and with the rinsed gravel. Let that sit in the water for several days, then do a water change, then bring in the fish, and then add the Safe Start Plus or whatever bacteria source you're using. I'm showing this Python 25 foot uh, tube because if you start to get a high ammonia rating, uh, I don't recommend chemically treating it. Um, I recommend that you just do a water change. And anytime that it starts to look cloudy or it seems like uh, your fish are being challenged by some concentration, then do a water change. Now, I mentioned that everything I have here is on a well. If you're using uh, tap water that's city treated, I recommend something called Seachem Prime. And that stuff will help treat the water before your fish go in it. And if you're doing a water change, of course, you would add that to the tank to make sure that they're not dealing with chlorine or other chemicals that are being provided from some city, city treatment system. So also, if you had heavy metals, for example, sometimes there's a lot of iron in a well, it doesn't hurt to put Seachem Prime in it also. For this demonstration though, I didn't treat my water with anything other than making sure I have Chemipure in the canister. And I started it off with Tetra Safe Start Plus. And let me think, that's about it. We're keeping this at 76 degrees now. And uh, there again is the night light just because I guess it looks cool. But uh, I expect everything to go perfectly. So this is how you start your tank brand new and have fish in it within a week. Thanks for watching my video and I'm just going to let you look at the fish for a little while here while uh, we finish it up. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Watch your water chemistry. Get the biggest tank you can afford and enjoy some tropical fish. Thanks.